Hi, what did you think of the new titles? I love this time of the year. The daffodils are out, the magnolias looking great, the bees starting to appear, and the chinook start buzzing. Yep, <laughs> at the airfield we had not one, not two, but three chinooks visit the airfield. One had a technical problem and landed in an adjacent field, and the other two just landed on the runways to make an impression <laughs> and, and to keep him company. But over the week, Easter weekend, we had some good, well, two good days of weather, and I managed to get some flying in. So on the Friday, we did a quick hop across Swansea Bay to Swansea. The airfield's been closed for a time, so it was a very short hop, 15 minutes flying time. Here we are, just going downwind, we're landing on runway 10. So we were just looking down 04 there, and we're coming to the... Um, Base leg or one zero. As you can see, it was a beautiful day. There was hardly any wind. A little bit of wind from the right, just on finals, but that's all. Let's keep him speed up. Turning round. Top right is the uh, runway, and here we are on finals. You can see just a little bit of uh, crab for the wind there. And the first part of the runway slightly uphills and save a long taxi, it was landing long. So around we go. John was already there in his clipper. And uh, Patrick had already been and gone by the time I got there. There's Alan's plane, a visitor down from Oxfordshire, I believe. James is a RV, and Jim's Groppo Trail. Couldn't think of it for a moment. And my shadow on the way back, I met up with David, who was coming back from Haverford West in Whiskey Alpha. Uh, we just flew alongside for each other. I stayed overhead. He was landing. Sumo was waiting to take off. And the Chinook was just resting in the field there. So there he goes. You can just see him landing. Keep your hand out the way. Get your hand out the way. There we are. He's he's down so I went off to the uh, coast then on Saturday morning didn't uh, I was going to go a local and Malcolm turned up and said where should we go I suggested brown shutters which is about a 75 mile flight to the bridges and then down just avoiding Bristol airspace we got PPR so we headed off here I am at the bridges you can just see the uh, glide circle showing that I could glide easily to either side course we're just leaving Wales and entering England so international flight <laughs> so that was a more or less the turning point and so just ran down round the corner down to brown shutters Chris and Amanda came in whiskey alpha now here we are overhead brown shutters that is it down there because the, uh, well, the lawnmower had broken down, let's see uh, what we're actually looking at. You can't really see the runways too well. Um, haven't been there before, I knew where they were, and it were a little bit easier to see. But as you can see, the main 1-5 runway was only half cut. So it came round, really nice tight circuit into the downwind. There's a few noise sensitive areas to keep away from, but uh, that house just off the wingtip there, that farm is one of them to avoid. And then further out, about a mile to the right, is another place to avoid. So, plummeting down nicely here, about a thousand foot a minute down. Even my speed up. By the time I got there, Chris and Amanda had caught me up and uh, Malcolm and Tony in hotel uniform were a little bit further behind. 
we hadn't flown in formation we just uh, each made our own way there and we all got there took us about an hour in total did have a little bit of a headwind so coming around onto finals you can see my thumb there going on the trim button trimming the nose up slowing the aircraft up that road down the side of the runway is quite a handy feature you can now see it on the nose and those trees they look remarkably close but actually you do pass safely to the to the side of them I think it's scarier looking at them here like whoa don't they look close but no they're okay so just avoiding the soft bit at the beginning of the runway landed on there so as I say you can see here the grass the tractor had broken down apparently that's why only half the runway had been cut so quickly doing a backtrack because I knew Chris and Amanda were in the circuit I'd heard their calls so I quickly dash for the cross runway to get off the, this runway. So I just pulled in here and waited on the cross runway for them. It's funny, you can see it so much better with your own eyes, but honest, they are landing. Where are they? They're coming somewhere. Here they come. Amanda was flying that leg. There they go. And we both had time to backtrack before Hotel Uniform landed. Now this made me laugh walking down here we just walk into the cafe along that track at the side of the runway and you just watch when a plane comes it's like squirrels everybody turns around wait for the other two. Oh, hey there's a plane coming oh, everybody stops to look <laughs> there it goes all right we'll carry on now here in the cafe we're laughing I was saying about the camera that it was actually on, but Malcolm was on his phone, the teenager that he is. And of course, then he asked people to smile. What do we get from Chris? <laughs> hey, Chris and Amanda had a phone call from work and had to dash off so we followed on later that's why the plane had already departed by the time we got back so very much a winter scene the trees are very bare now this is speeded up I don't taxi this fast now it was a soft field at this end there was some uh, soft ground so I kept it rolling and just took straight off now this is back to normal speed now speed build up climb away that's the track there's a cafe that we've been to or the farm shop that it is just by the side of the runway there and now we speed it up again just so uh, doesn't get too boring turning quite tightly so we don't uh, go over the noise sensitive areas and then climbing out to the north so it was just a repeat of the uh, journey there except this time we did have a little bit of a tailwind and we're back home here I am flying over the field just checking the wind sock uh, you can't see it there it's funny but uh, yeah it's there so yep let's speed this up again there's Swansea Bay going down gonna land the wind was more or less down one two but it a lot breezier here than it had been in um, brown shutters so around the reservoir 
as I say, you'll speed it up. Still keeping the speed up. I say we have to have this dog leg round our housing estate here so we don't overfly them. Crossing the M4. So just starting to slow it down. Still not got any flaps in at this stage because it was very gusty as you can see I'm getting bounced around a bit from those trees. Once I got past those trees it's calmed down a bit and I got the flaps in then. Runway's just there to the top left. Coming round. Just about to turn finals. Very serious face there. <laughs> you just don't want to mess it up. Ben was out taking the photos of me landing. That's in the top left there. So coming in. But as I say, it smoothed right out. The wind was more or less down the runway, over the hedge, and looking to land on the intersection, which is the smoothest part. Just about made it there. And we're down. So this slightly uphill there takes no, uh, no distance to stop at all. I was out and uh, with Ben ready to phone film. This was Tony landing in hotel uniform and again just going for the intersection. But look at that, stops in so few, so few yards. Also out was Chris in the Cirrus. So that needed to be filmed as well. That sand being thrown up, that is from where the Chinooks had made huge indents. John Balkan was standing with me and was commenting it was a, a greaser of the land, which in the conditions was really well done. So, there's Chris and Steve was in there with him. Chris had taken him for a flight. And here's some gratuitous helicopter footage. Uh, this is the one that had the uh, technical problem, so they took it off the runway and as they put it in an adjacent field so that it could uh, remain there for a couple of days while they did the work on it. Uh, well, waited for the spare part, uh, effectively. And I bet that has taken more fuel than what a lot of us used going to Brown Shutters and back. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you when I next put a video on.